Newly declassified documents show how a terrifying scenario on American soil was narrowly averted at the height of the Cold War. The documents, first published by The Guardian, show the U.S. Air Force lost control of a B-52 bomber mid-flight and accidentally dropped two massive hydrogen bombs over Goldsboro, North Carolina, back in January 1961, just days after John F. Kennedy was inaugurated. The two hydrogen bombs were equipped with four safety switches each. One of the bombs had all four switches activated, but the other bomb only had one safety switch working. Had that single switch on one of the bombs not been activated, millions of lives could have been in danger along the East Coast. The BBC reports the bombs carried a staggering four million tons of TNT in each one, and fallout from the bombs could have affected cities as far north as Philadelphia and New York. To put it into perspective, each bomb was 260 times stronger than the atomic bomb that decimated Hiroshima, Japan at the end of World War II. Author Eric Schlosser, who first discovered the documents, wrote about the nuclear arms race in a book called Command and Control. According to Schlosser, between 1950 and 1968, there were at least 700 other significant nuclear accidents. For decades, the U.S. government denied any safety issues put lives at risk during the Cold War, but this revelation goes against what the government has said for years. Sky News adds the accident has been the subject of interest in the past, but since the bombs accidentally dropped, the government said it was just an accident and that the U.S. was never that close to self-inflicted nuclear disaster. Schlosser says the government's attempts to downplay the near accident is meant to prevent questions about nuclear weapons policy. He was able to get his hands on these documents through the Freedom of Information Act. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toons. Multiple sources, a broader view.